Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you an easy way to get our BTV 77 app to your Varstick or Android TV. It's an amazing app for watching live TV online and totally for free. And we got all kinds of sports from here, from all over the world, including US, UK, Canada, Australia, and so on. I just had to blur out my screen because YouTube does not allow me to show you the exact events that are happening in the app, but in your case, of course, it's not going to blur it. And now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get an app to your device. And first of all, of course, you'll have to get an app code and loader, and you can actually get it totally for free from your official Amazon App Store. To do so, you just go to search on your device, and there in the search bar, start typing the loader. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom, the downloader has already popped out. So there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app. Let's click on the loader, and that's the app that you gotta get to your device. But after you get the loader, it's not over yet. You still have to set it up. So in order to actually stop the loader, we'll have to go to the settings on your device, and let's actually do that right now. So let's go to settings by clicking on that button with a gear icon, click on it, and then you have to scroll down until you find My Far TV. Open it, and from here, you'll have to turn on the developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's actually easy to move up here. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you'll have to click on the middle button on your remote for seven times and do it fast. So let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a little bit, you'll find the developer options here, which now have appeared for us. So open them, make sure to turn on ADB debugging, then you have to go to install known apps. From here, you got the locate and loader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now finally, let's go to the list of apps on your Fire Stick and there you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN, because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server. Let's say I will connect to Bulgaria right now. And from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on your line. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser, and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So we gotta go to the list of apps on your device, and finally open up the downloader application. Then you just wait until the app loads for you. Then here, in the left side menu, it's very important that you click on Home and not on Browser. So, once again, make sure that you have clicked on Home, and now, in that search bar, we have to enter a code, which is gonna be 
681. So once again, the code is 682181. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see and do not make any mistakes. Because obviously, if you make a mistake, then the code is not going to work. After that, you have to click on go. And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel. So you will get even more content for Fire Sticks. As well as please hit the like button below this video. It truly really helps me a lot. And that way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And now as you can see, the load has already started for us. That took us only a couple of seconds. After that, when the download is actually finished, we have to click on install and then wait until the app finishes installing on your Fire Stick or Android TV device, depending on what kind of device you're using, of course. And then after the app is installed, don't click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way you will have an option to delete the installation files, as we don't need them anymore on your device. So click on delete and then delete once again. This way you get rid of unnecessary files from your Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important, because by default we don't have too much of free space on our devices anyway. Then finally let's go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here. We open it and there is the RBTV application, which we just installed. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way the app is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time needed. Just don't forget to keep the VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.